started about 10 years back. And before that, I was in the enterprise space. All my startups before that were in the enterprise space. And I wanted to do something in the consumer space. Now, that's a pretty broad definition. So the one thing I was very uh, intrigued about was, you know, in 2006, uh, YouTube had just been acquired by Google. and it was, a, it was doing very well. But it was primarily on desktop that the YouTube consumption was happening then. And I thought to myself, you know, it's only a matter of time where this type of consumption will happen even in markets, the emerging markets like India. But there it won't happen on desktop. It will happen on mobile. And so we said, how about creating a video experience on the mobile, knowing the challenges around mobile in emerging markets. At that time, the challenges were devices weren't great. They were more like feature phones. The mobile networks weren't all that great. And the cost of data was quite high. So how are we going to make video work in emerging markets when these challenges existed? And so that's how we started the company. It's been an amazing journey. I couldn't have predicted anything that happened. Uh, but I think the first thing we learned is our DNA has always been technology. Right? We were all technologists. And so we put together a group of PhDs and we tried to solve the hard technology problems like how do you deliver video even when the bandwidth isn't great? How do you do it uh, minimizing the amount of data that is going to get consumed? Right? How do you do it across both smartphones and feature phones? That's how we started. And over time, we had to keep changing that problem statement uh, because networks got better. Today, the networks in India are much better than they were 5, 10 years back. Cost of data is much cheaper. And now there are a lot more of these $50 and $100 Android devices which weren't there five, 10 years back. But the technical challenges have changed, right? Today, how do you deliver a great video quality while not having the size of the data, to, of the files too much? Because you still have a one gig, two gig, three gig, five gig plan, right? How do you stay within that? Otherwise, you'll soon, soon have to start buying multiple data plans because you're using so much more, you're watching so many more videos, right? Uh, so there are lots of technical challenges that are still to be solved and we are continuously solving them. But in addition to that, part of the journey has been figuring out how we get the content right. right? Because consumers expect the technology to work. But what they really look forward to is the content. So we started off by thinking about what content will work. And we tried a lot of different things. You know, we are not necessarily the most creative people, right? We are technologists. But there are enough amazingly creative people out in the industry. So we said, let's understand. Let's understand the insights behind our consumer base. What is it that they care about? So we started putting data scientists to the problem and looking for what type of content works. And of course, the answer was very different from market to market. In India, uh, it was like 25 different countries. Indonesia is very different from India. Uh, Egypt is very different from Indonesia. And so today we are in about 20, 25 different countries. And in every country, we come up with locally relevant content. And of course, that's very different, right, for each market. So we look at the data and we find what works in that market. We will not only license content, but we'll also create our own original content for those markets. We consider ourselves as a technology-centric media company, right? Uh, because you know we have we learned that technology is something that is applicable in every aspect, whether it's in simple things like getting the video to deliver, to understanding how you use technology to drive insights, to figure out what content to create, to figuring out the recommendation engine, to figuring out how you do subtitling and uh, metadata. Uh, so that's critical. But at the end of the day, consumers want a great experience, which includes content. So technology plays a part of the experience, and then content plays the other part. And so we are a media company, but we absolutely believe we are a technology-driven media company.